Good afternoon parents. I am creating this video to let you guys know where you can access if your child has turned in the unit 2 final exam. So there are two parts to this exam, a composition and a multiple choice assessment. So today I'm going to be showing you two ways to locate where your child can submit their work if they have not completed this already. By Monday, I will be submitting final grades for the unit uh, assessment. It does have a close date. We did um, need to turn in the unit two draft since last Sunday, and we did start taking the multiple choice assessment on Tuesday. I also posted a message in my team's page where students could access the link to that assessment, which they can still access up until Monday. So I'm going to show you those two locations to make sure that your child has submitted their unit two final test. So we are going to be going into the writing classroom. In the assignments portion, you will see two assignments and they will be called unit two final draft. So you'll see two. Now your child will only need to turn in one. The main difference is that on Unit 2 Final Draft 918, your child can click on there and what they're going to see is a text box where they are able to type in their story. At the top of that, you will see the instructions. They will be able to see what they will be graded on. So whether their topic is clear, they've added some details, it's creative, they have interesting vocabulary and so on. So it gives them all their expectations. In the box below, they are able to type in their final draft. So that is one way to submit their final draft that was due this past weekend. The other assignment, which is located again in the assignments tab at the top, will say unit two final draft picture submission. So what this is going to look like is students are able to submit a picture into Teams. Now I have added the rubric as well so that your child can see what they will be graded on. So they're get, getting a grade from one through four. And because I am in the teacher view, you cannot see, but down here where it says student work, you'll be able to add work. This is where your child can add a picture of their draft. If they wrote it out and they just want to submit the picture of that, if that's easier for them, this is the other way or other option that they can turn in their final draft to me. I've also linked a video that shows you how to upload a photo to your assignment. This video um is how to upload an assignment through a phone because i do notice that submitting a picture through a phone is much easier so you can download teams to your phone and turn it in that way now the other important item that your child needs to make sure they have completed is the multiple choice assessment so because we took this last week or this past week which was week six you would click in week six Okay, and it has all of the information that we need to know for week six. So if I come up, I scroll up, I notice that it says testing link. Okay, this is where your child will be able to turn in their um, or access their multiple choice assessment. I'm sorry. Let me scroll up so that you can see it. All right. So as you notice here, okay, it has a tab that says unit two exam and it says students if you were not able to take your writing test or had to take it on paper, please go to this link and enter your ID number into the box that says username. Your username is your ID number only so their 108 number that's all they'll enter into the box when they access this link. Once they access this link, they'll be able to already have the access code. 
Okay, so they'll click on this link from a computer, they'll enter their ID number, and they will be able to complete their test. Now they are only completing one through 10 because the rest of the questions will be what I have graded for their essay. So again, parents, these are the two locations where your child can find the unit two exam information. They need to submit both a composition or final draft as well as complete their multiple choice assessment. Please make sure they have completed that. If you have any questions, you can message me. Thank you again for your time and your support. Have a great day.